Welcome back. So, here I'm gonna go ahead and talk about, in this particular tutorial, about standard exceptions. And also, there is one thing that I haven't really explained from the last tutorial, and here you go. So, if you wondered what this is, I am going to explain it here, but I am definitely, I'm pretty sure that I won't require this code. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. I really don't need it now. Don't need it. And don't really need it either. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the standard exceptions. In the STD accept library, so right here, there are several standard exceptions that are used so that the error types should be more standardized. All exceptions inherit std colon colon exception class and all exceptions have the dot what. So exception class, you can leave that for later tutorials. I will talk about classes later on as that is a more advanced subject. But for the time being, let's go ahead and focus on the dot what. So dot what is a method that prints out the exception message. So I'll show you how it works in a moment, but these exceptions basically are, you have them, so std logic error, error, okay, like that. And then you have std domain error and std, I'm just, I'm just writing them out for you here so that you know which one, so that you can see the standard errors. There aren't that many of them, so std colon colon that I'm going to write, so in valid argument std length error, and I mean, there isn't even a need to explain each one of them individually to see what each one of them individually is. The names themselves are self-explanatory, but the types are more standardized in this fashion. Anyway, let's go let's go ahead and continue. So std mm, got length error out of range. So I don't know, an array you can try writing to a value that's outside, you can try writing to an element that it's outside of the array's range or something like that, or you can try passing an invalid argument, etc., and stuff like that. You can go ahead and see definitions for each one of them online if you would really like, but I, I really think that the names themselves are rather self-explanatory. If some of them you fail to understand, as I said, just type them in on in your favorite search engine and you will get a really a lot of results. Or you just go into the Q&A section and ask. So std range error std colon overflow error and std underflow error. Excellent. So these exceptions are used by the STD classes as well as other programs to point out some exception type. Anyway, each of these exceptions can be caught separately. So that's something that we've been doing in the previous tutorial. Uh, we've been catching exceptions separately pretty much. But this is the syntax that I wanted to show you, just the catch block. So catch. I wanted to, I began this by trying to explain the dot what. So here is the dot what. Uh, std colon colon range underline error. So there's some sort of a range error going on here and I'm gonna put this as re. And down below we're gonna type in, we can type in std c out. I mean this is still like pseudocode, something like that. So error, which is going to format this a little bit. And then we're going to type in re dot what. There you go. So we can also catch them. At, 
I mean, as std colon colon exception, because all exceptions are inherent in this class, basically. But the the what method basically enables the printout of the exception message, and this is basically the format. So you will get the exception message here, as we have done it with the domain error in the previous tutorial. There was uh, some sort of a message here, like negative numbers, etc., something like that, and that is what is being printed out with this with basically this method. So there is something that this contains, some sort of a string, I don't know, something that's, that's to be printed out, and then the what method will basically take that and will print it out onto, it. the what method basically provides a way for that, uh, for the printout of the exception message. Now this dot concept and classes, etc. we're gonna do that later on along the way. It would really make no sense and it would confuse you further if I actually explained it now. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in the follow-up tutorial.